welcome back to the channel. So we've got another 2024 M2 that's just arrived. This was originally a dealer spec cart, and it is probably one of the more expensive M2s that you'll see. It is in black sapphire, but it did sell in transit. So this is prior to PDI, and I'm sorry it's not washed. I'm limited on time sometimes to get these things recorded quickly. Let's go over the details on this one. You can see we have the lighting package and shadow line package, which means you got shadow line light, so this part here is blacked out rather than, I think, gold. And we got our M2 badging and a very wide open front grille. No active cruise control, which could be one, it's not an option, or two, it's a manual transmission car. This one happens to be a manual transmission car. Over on the side, you got style 9. 30M wheels, which are basically the 825Ms from the M3, M4, just a different color scheme. Red M compound brake calipers, as well as Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. So a tire lottery win for this lucky customer. So that's that black sapphire. Make our way to the back. Notice with that shadow line package, you also get the black chrome exhaust tips, M2 badging in chrome, black gurney flap to match the body color. And you can see the carbon fiber roof again, optional. So it can be a standalone or part of the carbon package. So what's that very lovely black sapphire again, black, not my go-to color for a car, but just because the upkeep to keep it clean can be quite painful if you're on the OCD realm of keeping cars clean. Let's go on the inside, go over pricing and options. So opening up, we have the black merino leather because we have the optional carbon buckets with the tri-color or M-color highlights, M2 badging there. It's basically the same seat as the M4 and in merino leather, which differs than the vernasca leather in the rest of the car, strangely enough. But lovely, lovely seats. Again, that carbon bucket seat is only available with a carbon pack here in the U.S. market, which means basically $10,000 option to get those seats. All right, so interior, your standard M steering wheel, carbon fiber interior trim, M1, M2 buttons in red, heated steering wheel button. Again, that's an option. I drive eight in front of me, the M version. That's a standard street layout. So if we switch our M mode to sport, you get this look. And you got the heads up display, another option. And over here again, things aren't working because this car is prior to PDI. But the M version of iDrive 8, no 8.5. Rest of your carbon fiber interior trim. And of course, the star of the show here is the six speed manual transmission. All these other buttons down here for M mode setup, etc. All right, so let's go over pricing and options. So starting price of the 2024 M2 is 63,200 bucks. Metallic paint, that's another 650. The Marina Lighter says no charge, but really it's not. Shell line package for 300. The carbon package, which includes the bucket seats, the roof, as well as the M driver's package for $9,900. The lighting package for 650. The heated cereal for 200 bucks. The parking assistant for $200 as well. Live cockpit with the HUD, $1,100. Let me go over the carbon pack. Let's see, where is it there? There it is. So roof, bucket seats, carbon fiber trim, and the M driver's package. So the only thing you can get separately are the roof and the trim. So all told, MSRP for this example, $77,195. I think you can probably go a little bit more on the pricier side with a couple other options, not including VIA options. So things like the M performance exhaust, stuff like that. All right, let's go to the back here. We'll get in the back seat, pull that strap, let the car seat, seat go forward or not. 
Now if it wants to, we will attempt to get in. All right, not a graceful entry, luckily not on film. So here's the view from the cockpit. And then in the back, you'll notice a deletion for 2024. No climate control zone in the back, of course, no, and no USB charging ports in the back for your unfortunate rear passengers. Here's the back of the carbon bucket seats. I mean, no surprise if you've seen the M3, M4 seats. But new legroom, I think, is really good, much more improved. I think the carbon buckets probably save about 20 pounds. And you can sit lower in the carbon buckets than you can with the standard seats. But compromise here is headroom is terrible for tall-ish people. Say five foot eight and below, you're probably okay. Right, make our way to the back. Take a look at the cargo area. No kick to open. And no power tailgate. So cargo area is pretty decent. You can of course fold down those rear seats for a little bit more room. But this is what you see is what you get. No extra storage space beneath. And close it the old fashioned way. We will make our way to the front, pop the hood. Then I guess the unfortunate thing is if you want those bucket seats, which this is our first car with bucket seats, you have to spring for that basically $10,000 package to get it. So underneath the hood is the S58 inline six three liter twin turbo engine. In the M2 guys, it's 453 horsepower and 406 torques. But the car is extremely capable on the track. The one thing you have to be cognizant of is the brakes. Um, they can get a little bit hot, especially on high speed tracks with large braking areas, say, thinking like Laguna Seca or Indianapolis Motor Speedway, but I did have the chance to drive the M2 at Sonoma Raceway during M track days. It is a fantastic car. It is very capable out of the box. I think if you're gonna track the M2, you're gonna have a lot of fun with it. The other thing you should be worried about is of course the rear brake pads. Because it's a single piston floating caliper design, the brake pads in the rear are extremely small and that's across the board for BMW now. So you'll probably go through rear pads pretty quickly, even with DSC off, just because of the heat. Carbon ceramics might do a little better, but not an option on the M2. I imagine they'll show up on the M2 CS. That's it for another tour around the M2. We'll see you at the next video.